What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start shooting this uh, fourth installment of the liquid cooled Peltier fridge series. Um, yesterday kind of left a bad taste in my mouth and so I've got the, uh, the fridge here again and I dug up, I actually have a 10 amp Peltier unit. As you can see the Tech 1 12 7 10 which means it's a 10 amp unit and so I'm going to swap in the 10 amp unit in here and uh, fire up the fridge again and see what double the power gets us uh, before I uh, go ahead and order a 15 or 20 amp unit. So um, if you'll remember back to my first attempt at a fridge, I actually used this 10 amp Peltier and a 5 amp unit. I had two coolers going in at, this, at the same time, excuse me. And I didn't get, uh, I got about, about the same results as this fridge with just one 5 amp unit. So with only one third of the power, we were able to reproduce approximately the same result. So the fridge, the design is good and the build is good. We just need more power. So let, I'm going to go ahead and swap out this 10 amp unit into here. And we'll plug it up and or plug it in and see what happens. Okay, guys, here we are four days later. The rain has stopped, uh, which doesn't matter for this build, but it's holding up a bunch of my other videos. And uh, this is why we were delayed. I uh, didn't have enough of this thermal compound to, uh, to put this new Peltier Junction in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, slap this back in, and we'll get back to the testing that we were supposed to do several days ago. Okay, we're all set up. Uh, we're on my front porch, so we're not going to be in direct sunlight, but it is significantly cooler today than our last test. So I will keep track of the temperatures and post them. Uh, right now it's probably about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, so um, that is definitely going to have an impact upon our results. We just need to keep that in mind. So um, what we have, uh, I just got a ball... A bottle of water this time for the uh, liquid temperature test and then as always our USB data logger so I'm gonna go ahead and start that by pushing this button and it will start taking measurements and uh, so we will go ahead now just before I go on if you guys haven't built one of these yet these these uh, 12 volt power supplies made from a computer power supply really need to do that these are really really easy to do most of you probably have one of these laying around from a computer you've upgraded or maybe you know somebody that builds computers that has an old one laying around it doesn't need to be really powerful or special it just needs to be I mean if, if you didn't have one you want to order a brand new one you can get them on Amazon or Newegg or something like that starting at about 20 bucks so really really inexpensive 12 volt power supply and then uh, I'll post up a link to the video on how to hack the wiring to get it to work for our purposes. Really encourage you to do that. So let's go ahead and kick this thing on. And then that starts the uh, all the fans and it'll start cooling down. So I'm going to go ahead and put these inside, get it closed off, and we'll give it a couple hours to cool down and then we'll check the results. Okay, it's been two hours, so let's crack it open, get our water and our logger out. Well, that's substantially colder than last time. So let's, uh, let's check it out. I'll test the liquid quickly uh, first so that we can, well, there's even, I don't know if you can see that, but there's condensation on the inside. That's a good sign. Anyway, uh, we'll test the liquid as soon as possible so we can get uh, that before it starts to warm up. And then I'll show you the logging results on the graph. Okay, let's... I should have done this off camera, but let's crack this open. We'll get our trusty meat thermometer, which I'm sure is not the most accurate way we could do this, but that's all I've got. Now we're talking, we're getting down to refrigerator temperatures now. It's going to end up being somewhere around 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 
5 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is substantially better. Um, ambient temperature was, it peaked at around 70 degrees outside, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll translate all this to Celsius for you guys. Um, and so the lowest temperature, where is it? There it goes. 39.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is absolutely perfect. That is spot on. That was my goal to get down to 40 degrees internal temperature and stay there. Now, again, we have to, comparing apples to apples, you know, we had um, 80 degrees last time and we only had 70 degrees this time. So bear that in mind. But um, I have no doubt that this... Uh, this Peltier will, will get the job done. We can make a, a few improvements. We can improve the, uh, the insulation further. Um, we can um, get a better uh, fan on the, the radiator, like as was suggested by one of my subscribers. There's a few things we can do to, to eke out a little bit more performance, but this, this is a success. Um, I've, we've proven this concept now, and uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching, and that wraps up this series.